came back out today and today I'm gonna try to strategize got to thinking about how much good luck I've had in baseball diamonds in outfields right behind third base shortstop and second base that little area just right in the outfield so I'm gonna try to hit these three diamonds up in those areas and see what we can get dogs around here always get fired up whenever I come out here but we'll try it and see what happens today got the impact today okay very first target I just got here just ground balanced <laughs> Pretty soggy out here today. Mm, first target, can swallow. First coin here, Memorial. Bill X2, 80s, seen 90 something a couple times. That one could have potential. Dogs just won't stop around here. What we got? Quarter. That was pretty deep. That was about eight inches, eight, nine inches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's quarter. I can't even really tell because there's so much gook on it. And we'll call it a clad quarter. We'll look at it later. Monk Village 2, DI4s. Targets are getting kind of deep out here. Tip of the some kind of jewelry. I don't know. Some kind of pin or clasp or something. I think it's uh it's definitely not gold. It looks like it was gold color or something. But I'll keep it, clean it up. See if I can get any detail off of it. All right, 70 signal. Just got a uh, hot wheel type motorcycle here. I'll keep that. Another toy out here. Let's see what else we got down here? Here's another one. Or a piece of it, probably a piece of it. Handlebar or something. Alright, it took me a while. I had nothing but clad over that field. First target here in the second diamond behind third base. I'm running out of GoPro battery too. We got there. Mm, garbage. Okay, third target in the second diamond. Looks like I got a uh, some kind of broken up watch here. There's a wristband, little watch thing. It's jewelry, but not precious. 
It was better than a piece of clad, I guess. Some broken up little watch or something. Digital. Okay, first target today out the baseball diamonds. <laughs> Thought I'd come up here and poke around for an hour or so before the sun goes down. And I hunted yesterday for like over four hours. Not one old coin yesterday. All clad. It's kind of a bummer. Full tab. Yeah, I ain't been turning too many signals on. I got a solid 70 here. Might have a Sterling silver churn here. I don't know what it is. Palm Beach. It says Palm Beach on it. Kind of looks silver. Maybe not, but I'll take it home and clean it up. Coin. Key. Got a key. Thought that was a nickel. The edge of it. Should be a deep coin. got. Well, it's another, uh, found a couple out here. Look at that. Pocket knife. Glad I turned the camera on for that one. That looks like an old one. It's pretty rusty. Old pocket knife. Solid 87. It's usually a quarter when that happens. It is. It's a dollar coin. One of them uh, presidential dollar coin. Canadian nickel. Nineteen. Sixty-five beaver nickel. Okay, quick wrap up. It's from two days, uh, two day hunt. Uh, three different um, baseball fields. Um, what have we got? 
already pre-counted these. There's all the coins. Uh, 72 coins total. Five dollars and sixty-nine cent total. On one uh, dollar coin there. But no old coins at all. Nothing that I consider old. No wheat pennies. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine pennies. No wheats at all. No silver coins or nothing. But uh, a lot of those memorials are from the late '60s, early to late '60s. But anyways, let me see. I got. A, I think I got the a lantern part. I think this is a lantern. That's what it looks like to me. Got this little uh, lion or kitty cat charm, and it's kind of heavy. Might be lead. Piece of an old hot wheel or something. There's the uh, motorbike. I didn't clean it up. One key. I didn't clean it up. I don't know what's written on it. I think this from a bow and arrow. I think that's what that's from. Like a tip, like the end of it, or thought this was a little belt buckle when I dug it, but I think it's just trash. Just a piece of aluminum piping or something. I got the uh, cheap quartz watch type thing. I uh, got the little Palm Beach charm. It's not, it's not stamped 925 or silver or sterling or anything. It just says... Uh, China on the back of it. So, oh well. Would have been a nice little sterling silver charm, but it's just junk. And then I got the bone. I don't know if it's bone or not, but that's what it looks like. It's a little uh, pocket knife. Come on, Mac. Little pocket knife. That thing was pretty deep, too. But that's it. I did it better on coins than I thought I did. No wonder I was so damn tired after the first day. I was pooped out and the next day came. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go out and detect. I'm still tired, but I ended up going out anyways. But I didn't go out as long as I did on the first day. So first day was like close to four hours. I didn't realize I was gone that long. And the second day, maybe like an hour and a half. So... I forgot to include this in the wrap-up. Uh, I don't know what it is. Some little... Looks like the number 9 or something to me. I don't know if that was jewelry or what. But... It's junk. It ain't, it ain't real or anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see everybody next time.